Welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator's IT Support Beta. At this point, the beta is over and you can no longer join. Uh, it lasted until June 2nd, 2021. I don't know if they're going to have another beta or if they're just eventually going to release this. This may not even be what the expansion looks like when it comes out. Because it is just a beta. They're looking for, they were looking for feedback. Uh, to see what might need to be changed or otherwise. But I thought it'd be fun to play into it a little bit further than I did in the first episode. So if you missed that episode, I'll put a link up in the upper right hand corner and you can go check that episode out. To start off this episode, we've already got a couple of PCs in, so let's open up our tablet here. Let's take a look at these emails so we know what they need done. This one says, spoke to my boss and they said I need a better PC. Who am I to argue? To start off with, I need you to optimize my disk drive. Hopefully makes sense. And there's always a minor task or two. Am I right? In my case, there's a whole bunch of dust inside and out. Regards. So they need us to make sure the PC can boot to run bite back disk optimization. It sounds like we also need to dust this thing out. And then this other email says, hoping you can make my PC less broken. My PSU is missing and needs to be replaced. That's all the major stuff. And sorry to bug you with more on top of my kids love bamboozle HR. I feel like I should try and see what all the fuss is about. Many, many things. So they need a new PSU and whatever bamboozle HR is. So let's close the tablet out. Let's go over here. And grab these PCs. Man, th this is a work PC? Dang. That's nice. That's nice. When I had a, when I had a job, well, a regular job that is, not just doing YouTube and, and working from home, uh, but when I worked at an office, my office PC was always some POS Dell pre-built that was at least five years old and slow. So these are way nice. <laughs> these are way, way nice office computers. Must be nice. So install PSU. Uh, I'm assuming they don't have a specific one in mind. Get that off of there. There we go. Um, I don't even know what's in this PC. Let's take a look at the stats for this thing. Missing PSU PC stats. They got a 9700K, 6800XT. So I'm thinking at least a 550-watt PSU. It doesn't tell us what we need to put in at all. <laughs> uh, let's click here. Let's go to the shop. I'm curious. I don't think this will tell me what's in my inventory, though. Let's see here. Do I have any power supplies? I do not. I do not. So we're definitely going to need to buy one. Let's take a look. Uh, let's do a 650 just to be safe. Let's do price ascending. I'd like to put in a modular, but it's not a big deal. You do this Antec for 100 bucks. Let's add that to the cart. And we'll see if there's anything we need to order for this one. I think it just needs to be dusted out. And if there's not anything we need to order, then I'll go ahead and order... That PSU, and we'll get it put in in the next day. I'm going to get this PC all dusted out. Because it is filthy, and the dust doesn't want to come out. <laughs> this compressed air sucks. There we go. <laughs> it's weak. It's weak. Okay. I need a USB drive because we need to run Byte Back. Let me power this thing on. Okay. I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to give me any error. Uh, bite back. That's what I'm looking for. Bite back. There it is. Get that installed. We'll restart this thing. We'll run bite back. 
and see if that fixes their problems. Okay, bite back. Bite back, because time is money. <laughs> Click start to optimize storage performance and file integrity. Oh my. This is something. Optimization complete. Um, so I think that's it. I think that's it for this one. I'm going to go ahead and put the glass side panel back on. I'm going to go plop this in the delivery area so I can collect. Let's see. Let's go back home. Ticket. Was it this one? Bite back. It was... Thank you, you are welcome. You are welcome. So I need to, oops. I need to order this PSU. I'm gonna do next day delivery. It will arrive tomorrow. I don't think I have anything else, so let me end my day here. And I got some more stuff in, but before I get started with that, I want to get the PSU in this PC. Let me go to power supplies. We've got the 650 watt. There we go. Auto connect. Let's make sure this thing boots. It does. And it causes frame drops. <laughs> uh, which one goes on for evidently not that one. So it's this one. And then this piece. And then I need to power this off so that I can put the PSU mount on. And then I can close up the side panel and go put this in the delivery area. Let's open this up. Oh, right. It needed it needed bamboozle HR. Uh, let's power this up. And I will put a USB drive in it. And bamboozle HR. I'll let this thing restart, and then we should be good. Okay. So bamboozle HR is on there. I don't even know what this is. Invalid user, whatever. Whatever, I'm going to go put this in the delivery area over here and open up the tablet. I'm going to go ahead and collect this. You're officially my favorite person. Nice. Nice. So this looks like something that's out of office. I don't know that I'm ready to do that quite yet. Uh, we've got these two PCs. Let me open this back up. See what this Get me a terabyte of team group. T-Force Vulcan Storage. I've got a lot of files to go through and I need something fast. Most of the files will be documents and spreadsheets, so I'd appreciate you installing Typo and Sellout. So a team group, team group, man, I can't even talk. A team group, a T-Force Vulcan, one terabyte. Uh, let me go ahead and order that. Let's see, storage. T-Force. Oh, the Vulcan, there it is. One terabyte, add to cart. Okay, so that's in the cart. And then let's go back here. And let's take a look at this one. This one says, fingers crossed, you can find time to upgrade my machine. I want G-Skill components included, thank you. Also, and this isn't critical, I can only connect to the company network every third Wednesday, which isn't great. Blinked might be able to help enjoy your day. So they need at least one G-Skill part. So they want some RAM. <laughs> I think we can make that happen. Um, so they've got Ryzen. So let's go here. Shop. Let's get some RAM. Uh, let's do some Neo. Let's grab them two sticks. I don't want to do three to five working days. When's this stuff due? Uh, let's see, four days. 
and five days. So I'll just do next day. So let's go back here. I'm going to go ahead and buy this stuff now. Actually, I probably should have checked on the external contract. I don't even know how to do those. I don't even know where to go. I bet I go out this door. Uh, that's a no. That's a no. Can't go out that door. Does that mean the trash is full because it's tied off? <laughs> I go out these doors. Blast! Can't go out any doors. Okay. So, this was the one that wants a G-Skill part. And what else did they want? So, we need to fix... We need to fix them not being able to log on to the network. I think we can go ahead and do that, though, before we get the G-Skill part in. Because that was... Uh, what was that? Blinked. I'm going to get Blinked installed on this one. And then... This one... Does this one have storage? Um, it may... Will it only hold one drive? It may. <laughs> Maybe I can put it down here. I'm going to find out before I install any software on that. Let's go ahead and restart this one. And then we'll have to go into the day. But let me, while this is restarting, uh, let's take a look at this. Off-site, so maybe we'll do this one as well. I got roped into working at our Northwest offices for a week, but the PC they've given me is full of junk. How am I supposed to work when the PC they've given me has literal gigabytes of total random apps and files? It's not too long a journey, so can you come up and erase everything for me? Just format the drive so I can start fresh. I do it myself, but that's probably not a good idea. I once mixed up copy and cut and accidentally deleted everything on our file server. Okay, so I just need to format, drive, and reinstall the operating system. That seems easy enough. Uh, we're going to leave these PCs here. Let's, let's go off-site. Let's go get in our whatever kind of car that is. <laughs> uh, okay, so format, drive, and reinstall OS. How... how How do you do that in here? I didn't know there was a way to format a drive. Um, maybe this? Erase? Because maybe it erases everything? <laughs> Let's try it. What's the worst that could happen? Let's see, erase. Evidence, whatever. It gets a fresh start with erase. Click start will delete all data. Okay, that's what we want. That's what we want. And then we're going to reinstall the operating system on here. It's a pretty nice little PC. Okay, so reinstalling here uh, I think we're good to go I th think we're good look they've got a they've got a printer here uh, what are these cameras for I don't know I don't know <laughs> let's uh Let's return to the workshop. That's done. Okay, so that one, I can go ahead and collect. You're so sweet. Thank you for dropping by again. Super sorry I can't start your onboarding yet, but we'll get it done as soon as I'm back. All right. 
So I can't do anything else until I get parts in. So let me end the day. Should get stuff in, go to work. Uh, got new emails. I'll check those shortly. Here's our stuff. Let's see, this is the one that's getting G skill parts. So let me power this down. This big doofy fan's gotta go. I'm gonna get this one stick of RAM out of here. We're gonna put some G skill in. So a memory. There's one. There's two. Let's get some thermal paste on there and then their CPU cooler. Done. Let me make sure it boots. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to go put this over here because we already put blinked on this. So that one's done. Now I'm going to sprint over here and see if there's a place to install this extra storage. There is. Okay. So then what were the two apps? Let's pull this up. Um, let's see. What do they want? Typo and sellout. Typo and sellout. So let's power this up. I guess I should probably put a USB drive in here. That would help install the apps. So, typo and sellout. There's typo and sellout. We're having an SSD. It's not the fastest at restarting, but it'll work. It's an office PC. Let me get the side panels back on here, and this thing is ready to get out of here. I'll go put this over here, and then we can collect both of these that are done. Let's collect that one. Fantastic. Now I can begin my investigation. Those penny-pinching traders won't get away with this. And then this is the one that needed G-Skill. You never ran Blinked. Well, I did run Blinked. Or did I just install it? Maybe I only installed it. Oh, well, they can run it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well. So, let's take a look at this one. It says, are you the person to speak with about software applications? My request is as follows. Document Reader is the main software I use. I need it fully installed and working. And this will be the final thing I bring up. Flipside needs to be installed. I think that's all the important stuff. And if you've got some spare time, my doctor said clean it pro might be right for me, please. All the best. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your doctor said clean it pro. Okay. So let me grab this. We'll get this one fixed. We'll go do the off site one. And then we'll probably end this episode. Let me power this on. I'm curious about their BIOS. Ooh, 5800X. Nice. And a crappy hard drive. Of course. Of course. So it's going to be slow. Uh, let me back out and make sure I get all their software. So they want Document and Flipside as well as Clean It Pro. Okay. Document. Flip side. And where's Clean It? There it is. Clean It Pro. That's installing slowly. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now, now we can restart. Do I need to run Clean It Pro? That's the question. I may as well. I may as well run it for him. 
What's the point in installing it if I don't run it? When was the last time you felt clean? Oh, uh, when I got out of the shower this morning. All right, cleanup complete. Uh, I think we're done. Let me go put this in the delivery area. There we go. I'll go ahead and collect it. Let me know if you ever need a favor. I've got connections. Now we've got this off-site thing. Let's take a look at this. I'm still stuck up here at Iritech Northwest helping test their weird office simulator. <laughs> they just told me I need Unify 4D to run their simulator project and cap it all to capture footage, but they're both missing from the PC they gave me. Heck, I don't even know if this computer meets the minimum requirements for those apps. Do you have time to drive up here and give me a hand? Um, Sure. We'll take a look. Do we have... No. I don't know why I pulled that up again. Because they don't have Will It Run. So, cap it all... 6,600K in a 2070. And what was the other... What was the other app? Unify 4D. They've got a 2070. I don't think... I don't think that 1300X is going to cut it. 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, 8. So, we're going to need to upgrade their CPU... For that one, I don't know why I didn't just open this up. Is this the one? Uh, Unify 4D. Unify 4D. Uh, that's going to be probably all the way down at the bottom. So we definitely need to upgrade their CPU. So it says it needs... The other one said it needed a 6600K. This says it needs a 7400. Let's do part ranking. I don't know which is stronger, a 6600K or a 7400. There's a 7500. There's a 7400. And what did they have? They have... 1300x so definitely not strong enough because there's the 7400 and the 6600k so we could step them up to a 1400 or maybe even a 1500x let's do that let's get a 1500x Let's go ahead and do same day delivery on that. Ding dong. There it is. And then, oops. And then I meant to push T. Uh, we should be able to go to the off site location. We'll go hop in our, uh, maybe, a, what is that, a Toyota Corolla possibly? Getting our little Toyota Corolla. Let me power this down. We will quickly swap out the CPU to a 1500X. I'm going to get some thermal paste on there. And their cooler back on. Did it auto cable? Okay, it auto cabled. I'm going to power this back on. Need a USB drive. Oh, I've got a USB drive already in there. That's interesting. Did I leave it here? So they needed... Cap it. Cap it all. And Unify 4D. There it is. Okay, there we go. I know you can't fit another USB drive. Um, I'm going to take my USB drive. <laughs> I think we're good to go. Let's pull this up. Looks like everything's right. I'm going to return to the workshop. In my Toyota Corolla. 
I'll go ahead and collect this. Thank you so much. I bet if I asked nicely, I could get you added to the special thanks on this simulator game. <laughs> Maybe so. Maybe so. Okay, so I think we've gotten everything done that's here. Let's close this out. So we will have to end our day to get more stuff in, which I will do in the next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a video goes live. Also, if you want to help support me, there is a link to my Patreon down in the description. Also, if you want to chat with me outside of YouTube, come follow me over on Twitter. There's a link to that down in the description as well. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there, guys. And I will see you in the next episode.